This is the Nothing Phone 2. Yes, it does look like nothing has changed but there are some hidden gems in it. Today, we will look at what the Nothing Phone 2 has to offer that the Nothing Phone 1 didn't. Is it worth the upgrade? Mabuhay Manila! This is Kath and this is a review of the Nothing Phone 2 and let's begin! When the first Nothing Phone was released, the highlight of this device was the flashing glyph interface from its back. It was a unique design that makes this device stand out on its own. The glyph flashes to alert you if you have incoming notifications and other app-related information. One of the most notable upgrades of the Nothing Phone 2 is that it is now prepared by an upgraded Qualcomm Snapdragon chip inside. Aside from that, it also comes with a bigger display, bigger battery, and faster wireless charging. Nothing phones are uniquely designed if you look at the market for smartphones. They are the only ones that carry this kind of look. If you look at the device at first, you will see that they are very similar and nothing was changed. But there are some of that set the two devices apart. The edges of the Nothing Phone 2 are now softer compared to the strong edges of the Nothing Phone 1 which makes this device comfortable to hold on. Nothing uses the word pillowed to describe its new phone which is kind of accurate even though it's an odd way of describing glass. Another notable change is the functions of its glyph interface. It uses the same patterns but the phone 2 offers more LED lighting zones which allows us to customize the effects even more. The phone 2 offers 33 zones compared to the 12 zones that the phone 1 offer. The overall build is durable thanks to its Gorilla Glass protection for its front and back panels and it has a solid aluminum frame around the side. As for the display, the Phone 2 boasts a 6.7-inch FHD Plus LTPO OLED display paired with a 120Hz refresh rate. Phone 2 now offers a bitter 6.7-inch compared to the 6.55-inch and it has more screen-to-body ratio. It still offers the same features like 1B colors and the HDR10+, Plus, but the Nothing Phone 2 it has a bigger peak brightness of 1600 nits. The upgrades on its display also help when it comes to battery saving because of its refresh rate being upgraded to a variable rate from 1 to 120 Hz which allows it to ship the refresh rate based on what you need. It also has a more durability thanks to the IP54 rating. As for its display quality, it offers a sharp and detailed display with good color saturation and its bezels are slimmer this time. Viewing angles is also good which is an impressive feat. Moving to its cameras, Nothing Phone 2 packs a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixel f1.9 wide as its main camera and 50 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide as the secondary. Photo quality's outers are great, it is sharp and detailed, although there are times when the device is having a hard time balancing its exposure which results in blowout highlight. White balance is also inconsistent. This is the standard photo we took, then this is the 2x digital zoom. And lastly, the 0.6. As you can see from having a cold color tone from the 1x and 2x images, the 0.6 somehow offers a warm tone. Taking photos at night with substantial lighting and night mode turn on offers a cinematic look. It boosts the colors in the photo while controlling the light so there won't be flares in the display. It also adds a bit of clarity to the photo making the device even sharper and crispier. However, if you took it outdoors, the results are quite different. Although it still boosts the colors and details, there is some part of the image that turns out soft. For portrait photography, the Phone 2 is outstanding. It has good subject to background separation and sharp and detailed images plus the color distribution is great which makes the Phone 2 an impressive device for portrait photography. Moving forward to its video recording, it can shoot videos up to 4K at 60fps. However, its stabilization feature only applies to 1080p at 60fps. With the cameras out of the way, let's talk about more of its performance and software. The Nothing Phone 2 is now powered by a 4 nanometer flagship chipset, which is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 compared to the Phone 1's high mid-range chip, which is the Snapdragon 778G Plus 5G. The 8 Plus Gen 1 is more powerful than the Phone 1's chip, which is a huge upgrade. 
upgrade for the Nothing Phone 2. It has higher gaming and CPU performance and supports 100% higher memory bandwidth. Our unit's configuration is 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Here are some of its benchmark results. Out of the box, the Nothing Phone 2 runs on under 13 slapped with Nothing OS 2. As for its battery, the Nothing Phone 2 is backed by a 4,700 mAh battery capacity with 45 watts of fast charging, 15 watts wireless charging, and 5 watts of reverse charging. The battery consumption is impressive thanks to the added features on its display. When on standby, the Nothing Phone 2 consumes 1% of its battery for every 3 hours. It can last about 10 hours on video streaming, 15 hours on web browsing, and 5 hours and 30 minutes for heavy usage and gaming. As for charging the device from 0 to 100%, the Nothing Phone 2 took about 1 hour and 4 minutes to fully juice up, which is pretty good for a 45 watts fast charging. Overall, the Nothing Phone 2 offers upgrades to the Nothing Phone 1. It offers bigger and better results plus added customization so that we can fully personalize the device. Since Nothing Phones are still new in the market, they still find a way to make innovations to their devices and make the device as exciting as the last one. Unboxing this kind of device brings back the childhood in us. It feels like we're unboxing our first ever Game Boy or PSP. Despite some of its specs not being on par with some flagship devices, still the device delivers fast. That being said, the Nothing Phone 2 is priced at 38,999 pesos for the 12 gigs plus 256 gigs variant and 44,999 pesos for the 12 gigs plus 512 gigs config. If you own a Nothing Phone 1 and you're looking to upgrade this device, then the Nothing Phone 2 is a good and solid buy. So, that is our review of the Nothing Phone 2. What are your thoughts about this device? Is it upgrade worthy? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest device. Once again, this is Kath and Mabuhay Manila.